Sahi. So, what will you say now? Us, ta, za, ya. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? Inshallah. Ustazaya means, what is the meaning of Ustazaya? My two teachers. Huh? My two teachers are from Misr. Hmm? Sister Maimuna. Aina wajatta daftariya. Mashallah. Mashallah. Sister Nasreen. Inna. Mashallah. Inna akhwaya. Alimani Jalilani. Very good. Huh? Sister Sukhaina. Zahabna. Bi sayyara tayya. Mashallah, mashallah. Inshallah, you find it easy. You understand it well, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Sister Naima. Da'a. Why will you say kalamaya? See kalamani. Ah, mashallah, mashallah. Da'a kalamaya. Got the idea? We got to be careful, huh? Da'a kalamaya. Okay, very good. So this was done, brothers and sisters. Now we come to the other thing now, and which is kilahuma and kiltahuma. You got to understand, brothers and sisters, Kelahuma, and this will change into Kelai Hima. See, Huma change into Hima, because Yamatakalim came in front. And the next again will be Kelai Hima. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now I write down Kiltahuma and then Kiltaihima and then Kiltaihima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What did I write on the board? That is correct. What else? In a very short and funny way, what will I say? I wrote down, Dhun Dhan Din. What did I do? I wrote down, Dhun Dhan Din. What does that mean? I wrote down, Marfu form, Mansub, and Majroor. Huh? Kilahuma is Marfu, what is the sign of marfu? Al alif li annahu masanna. Kilai. What is kilai hima? Mansu. What is the sign of its nasab? Ya mutakal. And kilai hima again is majrur. What is the sign of its jar? Ya again. Why? Li annahu masanna. Now I say kilta huma. Is it marfu, mansub, majroor? Marfu. Alif is the sign of its rafa. Huh? Because it is musanna. Now you say kiltai hima. Is it mansub? Yes. What is the sign of its nasab? Ya. Yeah. And the same thing, kiltai hima, majroor. What is the sign of its jar? Ya. Yeah. If you keep this in mind and use your knowledge and understanding in forming the sentence. In, when you form the sentence, keep this in your mind, brothers and sisters. And remember, if it is a file, if it is a muftada, then it will be marfu. Uh, if it is mudaf, if it is, if it is mafulun bihi, then it will be mansu. And if it is mudaf ilehi, or it is, uh, uh, majroor biharf char then you have to use the majroor form huh? so it's very easy but you know again Dr. Saib in his vision 
first gives us enough example for us to ponder over it. So ponder over the following example and see how the kilahuma changes to kilaihima, kiltahuma changes to kiltaihima. First, let us ponder over the sentences, you know. Ta'ammal. Ta'ammalil amfilata la'atiyata li kila wa kilta. See, aina akhwaka. What is the translation? Aina akhwaka. What is the translation? Where are your two brothers? Your two brothers. Huh? Fine. What will you say? Both of them. Kilahuma fi Dimashk. Are you with me? Both of them are in Damascus. Fine, brother. So what will you say, Kila? Muftada, marfu. Wa alamatu rafahi al alifu li annahu musanna. Wa huwa mudaf. And huma is mudafili. And where is the khabar? Fi dimash. Jar majnur. Shibu jumla khabar. Alhamdulillah. Now comes the other sentence, brother. Araital. Mudarrisaini. Okay. You, we have to say yes. I saw both of them. So what will you say? Naam. Ra'aitu kilayhima. Wa'ay kilayhima mafulun bihi. So it makes sense, huh? inshallah. So kilay is uh, mansu, and what is the sign of its nasab? Ya. Wa huwa mutaf. And huma mudafilihi. Uh, inshallah. Very good. Now, number uh, ba. Aina talibatani al jadidatani. Aina talibatani al jadidatani. Translation? Where are the two new students? Huh? Huh? No, I want to say both of them. So what will I say? Keltahuma indal mudir. Indal mudira. Okay, to the lady headmaster. So kilta huma, what is kilta? Muftada, marfu. And alif is the sign of its rafa. Wa huwa mudaf, huma mudaf ilayhi. Where is the khabar? Only in the. And what will you say? Shibu jumla khabar. And what will be the mudira? Mudaf ilayhi. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you with more knowledge. Eh? All of us, inshallah. Huh? Very good. Now, Sister Madina, see, ayya. Huh? Why ayya? I'm trying to make it uh, very clear to all of you, and especially to Sister Madina. Huh? See, we have to see the verb. Huh? Is the verb mutaaddi? Is it transitive? Then it became ayya. Is mafulun bihi. Huh? Okay. So what is it? Ayya suratayni. Huh? Ayya suratayni. No. Hafista. See? That's the verb. Change it into hafista. Ayya suratayni. Huh? That's the way we turn it around to understand better. Hafista, you memorized. Which surah? So ayya becomes mafulun bihi. Huh? Fine. You want to say, I memorized both of them. Hafistu? Hafistu? Kiltaihima. Why kiltai? Because suratun is a muannas. So we say, Hafistu? Kiltaihima. So what is kiltai here? Bafulun bihi. What is the sign of its nasab? Ya. Why? Because it is musanna. Mashallah. Very good. Huh? Now there is another sentence which will tell us the majroor form. Abil arbiyati katabtal unwana am bil fransiyati. Did you write the address in Arabic or in French? Huh? 